Here I have nature in watercolour, expressive painting through the seasons. Now I'm not going to try and pronounce the author's name because I don't want to get the lady's name wrong, but you can clearly see who she is on the cover here. Now this was published quite recently in 2023. It was a book I pre-ordered because when I saw it on the Search Press website, I just thought it's the sort of book I really like. Although I often work in a lot of detail, for many years I did very fine detailed work, I am moving back towards the looser style of painting and it's really lovely to have an inspirational book like this to guide you. So we're going to have a look inside here. Just look at these lovely pictures. This is so colourful. I mean the colours on here, just absolutely, you can't fail to be inspired by a book like this. And if you're scared of botanical painting because you're scared of making mistakes with the details, then just be expressive and loose. Lose yourself in your painting and be creative. Don't worry about the details, just be really free with your painting. So we have opening reflections, a gallery, um, we've got materials and equipment, technique focus, we've got the four seasons. Now spring, summer and autumn have eight projects, winter only has six. A little bit sad about that, would have liked another two projects on winter but never mind it's still a lovely book. So we have the opening reflections, I just think the colours in here, just look at this, so beautiful. Then we move on to the materials and equipment. You're not going to be swamped by information. You have just enough information. You've got the paper, the brushes, the type of brush, the accessories and the paints. You have a lot of freedom with this book to interpret everything you want, how you want. Now in the technique focus, the author explains the step-by-step -step instructions, her working methods, and on each of these six projects in this technique section, it tells you this technique is used in the following projects. So as you work through the book, you can refer back to the technique section for further help. So you have some lovely projects in here. Beautiful colours right the way through. If you love nature and flowers and trees, I think this book is absolutely stunning. Birch trees there. Sunflowers. We move into spring and the beautiful fresh colours of spring. Now you see when you get into the seasons you just have two pages, one with the steps and then a finished image. So there's a lot of freedom here for you to interpret these images how you want and you've got the technique section to move back to for further help. Look at these lovely colours, I really love the trees so beautiful. I've mentioned before how much I love trees and drawing and painting trees and there are plenty of trees in this book for me. I really also love the sort of semi-abstract quality of these pictures and we move into the warmer colours of summer. Lots of lovely projects in this book. Look at that, so beautiful. Don't want to miss any pages and then we have the beautiful warm autumn colors i think this section is really beautiful as well look at that so lovely so i think with this book it really is a lovely fresh approach it is a very loose style but I think it's something that's highly achievable for you, even without a huge amount of experience. And then we have the lovely cool colours of winter. Now I really love the cool colours as well. Icy cold winter days, Christmas roses, 
I think the projects have been very carefully selected to give you such a beautiful variety of subjects to really help you. Look at that tree in a snowstorm. White flowers. And I love this picture. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. So then we have the final words and a gallery with a few more pictures just to give you some inspiration. So in this book we have 112 pages. It's not a huge book but I think it's a perfect size for you if you're starting out with nature in watercolour. You're starting out learning to be more expressive with your painting. I think this is just going to be such a lovely book for you to look at.